Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Go grab your pencils and let's get started. So for this episode I thought I'd work on something a bit new for me. I'm doing another study in my sketchbook but in a slightly different style to what I normally do. This sheet of study was first done in ballpoint pen so yep that's no pencils, no erasers, nothing like that. Just got stuck in and I love it. I find it quite enjoyable to draw without erasing anything so it's come with practice but it's really built up my confidence and if you're looking to kind of improve your art and you want to get sort of braver, I definitely recommend just going, do you know what, I'm not going to erase anything whilst I'm drawing and just get really stuck in, I promise you, you might be surprised at how it kind of builds your confidence. So as I go, for the study I also fill the background with some facts about cheetahs. They are really amazing animals and are super interesting, so I found it was really a really good opportunity to learn about them too. Now I definitely love animals and I've always loved animals and I've always tried to learn about them but it's always great when you're doing something like this kind of study page or a page like this where you're filling it with facts that you can be really surprised about information that you didn't think you could ever know such as like the speed of the animal or the size and the weight of the animal it makes you realize that you know there's a whole world out there that we don't know about so looking at like little facts about you know their social structure or their diet, the speed at which they can run that, all this kind of stuff is really enlightening. So I definitely encourage people, if you're learning about animals, you're learning to draw animals, to do stuff like this and really embrace the facts that you can pick up when you're learning about new animals. So I'm just putting the facts down here, also in ballpoint pen. At first I was kind of concerned that maybe the ink would make the ballpoint pen kind of smudge but as you'll see later when I put the ink down it really doesn't affect it at all it just makes it kind of more muted the black ink is obviously quite um, quite a harsh tone but as soon as I put the ink over the top it made it fade lovely into the background which I thought was really nice and it kind of stops it from being too harsh on the page and it kind of makes it blend into like an old journal page that you imagine seeing on some sort of field guide, some zoologist going out and about and writing about and sketching his animals. It just, it makes you kind of, it makes it all blend in really nicely together, which I really liked. So when I had the sketch and the text down, I did a wash of this acrylic ink over the top. It was really cathartic to just fill the page with ink. The ink was quite dark and I was kind of, you know, I was a bit concerned that maybe it would be a problem, but you know, it's part of learning, it's part of trying new things, is that sometimes it's not going to necessarily come out the way you want it to the first time, but ultimately it's just an opportunity to learn, so maybe next time I'd add a bit more water, I would try some way of making it lighter, perhaps even adding a yellow of some kind to make the sepia ink a bit lighter, but either way it looked quite nice and I quite enjoyed it once it had dried. So I let the ink dry and over the top I started app applying gouache. Now it's basic, gouache is basically, in my opinion, the perfect mix between acrylic ink, acrylic, well, ac acrylic ink, acrylic paints and watercolour. It goes down like watercolour but the, the, the colour itself is much more opaque so it stands out much more strongly against the back of the page. I feel like this painting, as I was going, it came out a lot more soft uh, and almost realistic compared to the you know normal cartoonish style that I have. So it was really nice to try something completely different. Now whilst this video plays, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my Patreon. So I'm very excited that I'm now able to bring tutorials to my patrons. It was hotly requested and I'm so glad that I can now do this for you. I know that a lot of my audience are artists who are looking to improve on a few things. Now, most of these artists are looking to find more motivation or you know, find the time to draw, but I know a lot of my audience are actually looking to improve their techniques. 
So to help, you can now get access to up to two tutorials a month on things such as techniques with certain media, how to draw particular animals or parts of animals, and ultimately start working on things that you may be finding difficult. So if you're ready to start learning new things, come on over to my Patreon and for only £6 a month, you will get access to up to two tutorials every month to help you develop your art skills. Plus, these videos will remain completely exclusive to Patreon, so as the catalogue of tutorials builds, you will always have private access to them for as long as you subscribe to Patreon. I thought it was really exciting to share that I'm now adding tutorials to my Patreon. So I won't jab on too much longer, I'll let you watch this video in peace and I hope you enjoyed watching me create this cheetah study in my sketchbook. It was honestly such a joy to do something different and make something almost realistic for a change. So as always, if you like this content, please subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. It really does help support me and my channels, so I'm always so grateful for every kind of interaction that you guys can offer. No matter how small you think that support is, it's a massive help. Oh, and also comment below with other animals you'd like to see me do a study page of. I'd love to know what you would like to see. And as always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you again next time.